Hi guys, it's Kimberly in my bathroom. Welcome. Um, I am going to do a quick eye makeup tutorial because on Mondays I do Q&A day and that's where you can ask me any question. If for some reason I don't want to answer it because it's too personal or I have no idea, I'll let you know. But other than that, uh, Q&A day Mondays come to my Facebook page called Kimberly Speaks Community and I call it a community because I want us to all just join there and experience life together and bounce ideas off of each other and share uh, points of inspiration and things like that. So today one of the questions that was asked of me was makeup tips and uh, so I want to share um, a thought about makeup and then one aspect of makeup that I really enjoy playing with. So my first thought, and I'm trying to keep this quick, my first thought is that I really wish that women could get to a place where they can walk around in public with a naked face and not feel bad about themselves. And uh, because if you start there, then makeup just gets to be fun. And makeup is fun for me. To me, it's another creative outlet. Instead of painting on a canvas, I'm painting on my face. I mean, we got brushes, right? And we, I mean, it's painting. Um, and so, <laughs> Um, I see it more as fun, like an adornment, like earrings, like my self-esteem won't plummet if I don't have my earrings in. Well, I've gotten to the place where my self-esteem doesn't plummet if I don't wear makeup either. Uh, I'm obviously standing here in front of this video without all my makeup on in front of the world. So that's my number one tip. Work on that because makeup should be fun and not a chore and not something you have to do to feel good about yourself. If you need it to feel good about yourself for now, accept that. That's where you're at. But I'd love for you to work towards uh, feeling more free. Number two, somebody was asking me to give me them a tip. So I am going to concentrate on my eyes because it's my favorite part to do. I think it's because it's most colorful and probably most like painting. Um, so first, um, to do my eyes, I put on a primer. I use a MAC primer. Um, it's been my favorite for years and years and years. A friend introduced me to it. Um, they're little paint, <laughs> the paint tubes. We got a painting theme and, um, it helps your eyeshadow to stay on better. And so I'm going to show you a smoky eye. They're traditionally done in the past with blacks and grays or browns. And I do that too, but um, I've been doing a purple one lately that's been really, really fun. And it's actually the makeup I wore for um, any of the pictures you see um, that are going to be popping up of me in a purple tank top and a purple jacket, professional pictures. That's the eye makeup I did for that day. So um, you can kind of see what I did. So I already got some primer on my eyes. I take it all the way up to my eyebrows because I use shadow all the way up to my eyebrows, even though you don't necessarily see it. So this is another MAC product. I swear they're not paying me to do this. I wish. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Ah, uh, not kidding. So this is a purple palette um, that I got. And it's got all these beautiful, beautiful shades of pink and purple. Like I just wanted to eat it up. So I couldn't resist it. So I'm going to take this kind of orchid color. I like starting with a light color on my eyelid. And so I'm just going to put it on my eyelids. And you can um, add... Just start with a little and then add more if you want more color. Um, I wouldn't probably normally do a purple eye with the outfit I'm wearing today, which is, you can see kind of teals and stuff. I'd probably do more brown one, but I just felt like doing the purple today again to show you guys. So with a smoky eye, what's really cool is um, once you learn the technique, you can do any combo of colors. And I think that's what I like about it. So now I'm going to take... Um, a brush called this one's called a smudge brush um I don't know what I'd call it they're kind of a round tip actually I like this one better I'll use this one it's kind of a round tip brush um tapered crease eyeshadow well that's what we're gonna do so it's a tapered crease eyeshadow brush so then I'm gonna take um one of the darker um tones probably this one or this one kind of a mid-range tone um, and or shade or whatever you call it and I'm gonna put that in my crease and this is a place where you can build up too because if you start with too much uh, it's really hard to take off but you can keep building uh, until you get kind of the color you like and since I don't do makeup tutorials on a regular basis the lighting is terrible in here 
so forgive me. So we're gonna do that, and then sometimes I take it up a little bit higher, because um, otherwise you don't see any color on my eyelids. And then, so see there, we bring it up a little higher. And then I bring it down into a V shape. I would just bring it down at an angle, because I really like having um, kind of that angled look. It gives a really soft cat eye appearance. So that's kind of fun. Then I will take um, a big fluffy brush and use the lightest color, which is this light pink that's just gorgeous. Reminds me of ballet shoes. And I put it up here on my brow bone to kind of highlight it. Um, it brings more light to your eyes. And I put it in the creases here. Some people take hours to do this. I try to do it super fast. Then I brush my brush off just like this, try to get it clean, and then I go back in and I just smudge it around. And again, so right now I've used three colors. I generally use three. You can darken it up by taking one of these dark colors. Um, this one's got some sparkle in it, so let's do that. And you can just dab it in the corner of your eye like that. Let's do some on this side where you can see the lighting better. And then you can take it just a little bit up and a little bit down and it'll just add a little bit more drama to your makeup. So that's kind of fun. So that's my basic smoky eye eyeshadow. Um, then I always add eyeliner. I just recently got this forest green. It's actually called Moss. Um, at uh, It's a Stella brand. I got it at um, JCPenney Sephora. So I add eyeliner, sometimes a little bit, sometimes a little heavier. Today we're going with a little bit. You can see the difference in my eyes. It just kind of frames your eye. Um, sometimes I've been doing a cat eye. I was really bad at it. What I learned is it takes a lot of practice. Unless you're just naturally good at it, but I'm not. So it took a lot of practice. Um, if your eyeliner is kind of weird, like it is right here, then I just take a little smudgy brush and kind of smudge it out, soften it up a bit. So there we go. That's what it looks like on. You can take your eyeliner underneath if you want, but you don't have to. I usually like to take it, if I do it, just a little bit. I don't take it all the way in like I did in the 80s. Um, unless I'm going for a really dramatic look. Um, but just for every day, that's what I do. Another trick to make your eyes look brighter is you take white eyeliner and you run that on your watermark. Um, and it helps open your eye up and it makes your eye brighter, especially if you have like a really red waterline um, from allergies or just your natural skin color. That'll brighten things right up too. So there, my eyes, you can kind of see from a distance now. And here's close up. And then you end with mascara. There's a million mascaras out there that are fabulous. Sometimes I wear this dark purple. It looks 